All right. Hey, welcome back, guys. Uh, standing here in front of something that's kind of unique, only because uh, it marks the very first mile of U.S. Route 1. Uh, I don't know if you know U.S. Route 1 or not, but uh, a part of it does go through Portsmouth, New Hampshire. Um, but it originally gets its start way up here in Fort Kent, Maine. Uh, if you look right over there, there's the Customs and Border Station because just across the bridge is uh, New Brunswick, Canada. Uh, and so the old road, Route 1, was the real main road out of town. Um, these U.S. highways uh, came about when cars started becoming more popular. People were willing to drive a little further. Cars were built better. They, their gas was more readily available. And not surprisingly, the connections of these roads uh, grew and grew and grew. Uh, and they became tradition for odd-numbered uh, highways to go north and south and even-numbered highways to go east and west. And this is kind of how we, we start to grow as a nation using our automobiles. Uh, but this is the very, very first mile of U.S. Route 1. And, of course, Route 1 uh, snakes right down the Atlantic seaboard and goes through several, several states and hundreds of communities. And um, it's still intact to this day. It runs, what, 20, almost 2,500 miles uh, from Fort Kent, Maine, way, way up on the top of Maine, way, way, way down to uh, Key West in Florida. And, and I'm happy to say I've been on both ends, and I've driven a bunch of it as well. But uh, I will tell you that uh, today in Fort Kent, Maine, there's, there's feet and feet of snow here, and I'm willing to bet you in uh, Key West, Florida, there is not. Uh, there's some prob probably some wild chickens and cats. Uh, that's what's kind of hanging around at the end of uh, U.S. Route 1. Uh, but anyway, just thought I'd show you that because... You're only going to find one, and that's up here in Fort Kent, Maine. See you guys.